Hey everybody! It is my favorite day of the week, which is Tuesdays. Tuesdays are team days, and if you're new here, every single Tuesday we, or rather myself, I do a live training on a different topic at 1 p.m. Central. So you know that you can always find me at least here every single week at this time. So the really great thing is too is for those of you who miss it or can't make this time slot, these are going to, or they remain available for 30 days here in the group. And I will tell you that I do make sure that they get uploaded to my YouTube channel same day. So for our team members who aren't on Facebook, hey Sherry. So for those who aren't on Facebook, they have the ability to access them. And the way that I view my business and the way that I work my business, the way I almost have like my entire Sensi career is I love sharing information. So that's another reason why I put my trainings on YouTube. Um, I was the person who didn't have a sponsor who I connected with or really knew how to help me. And so I had to really find my own groove, find out what I was able to do and really learn on my own. And one of the ways that I did that was going to YouTube. And I will tell you back in 2013, when I started going to YouTube, there wasn't a whole lot there. We are so blessed blessed, blessed, blessed by the ability of the other consultants within Sensi who share with us on a regular basis. So for those of you who are always looking for inspiration or always wanting to learn something new, I myself, I am a forever student. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm one of those people who I will forever be learning. And once a week, on Mondays, that happens to be my day. That is my personal development day. And so I take time to at least watch one training every single week because I don't know about you guys, but I do not know everything. <laughs> I never will know everything. And I am always looking for ways to improve myself, to learn new things, to try something different in my business. And I encourage you guys to do the same. So if you don't have, hey, Miss Lisa, brand new on the promotion train. So exciting. Um, Sherry, oh my gosh, over 500 in PRV. I'm honestly so, so happy for you. That is a huge accomplishment. Way to go, way to go. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. That makes, that makes my day. Um, <laughs> so let's talk. I thought this week we would go ahead and talk about VIP groups. And I wanted to kind of break down maybe the stereotypical things that you normally hear when you hear about VIP groups or um, if you've seen other people and how they use them or what they're doing. So let's Let's first start at the beginning, okay? Let's start start at the beginning. And, sorry, I always have to make sure Hero's not behind me if I'm gonna move my chair. <laughs> Been a few times where I've clipped him when I went to roll. Um, so, we have our uh, website, right? That is our PWS, personal website. That is our website, that's where we send people to, right? We have our workstation, which is, what a lot of us refer to as our back office. I like to call it where the magic happens, right? That's where we can do all the things within our business. So we have our work, we're our PWS, we have our workstation. And if I am your Upland Star Director or sponsor, then you know that you have this three, the Scent 365 training group available to you. Um, that group is something that I had started uh, way before I became a director. Um, and it is essentially for everyone in my entire downline. And you probably have noticed that I have added people who are not necessarily in my downline. I've added um, colleagues, so other directors, um, other leaders within Sensi, and then just some people that I have adopted, right? Because 
here we are in the world of Scentsy and just like my story, right? I didn't have a connection with my sponsor. I hate to see people struggling when they really truly do have a desire to do something with this business. So that was one of the main principles of me doing the trainings and, and getting involved in doing that kind of thing. So, um, I wish I could like invite everybody, but if you know, if you start inviting everybody, then let me just tell you right now, it, it turns into a, a crazy house very quickly because you have so many people from so many different walks of Sensi life, um, that it can get a little overwhelming. So I do really only let the people who are not in my downline in, if I have a personal connection to them or, um, if it's somebody that I've connected with, well, I guess that's kind of all the same thing, right? Oh, sorry. <sighs> totally complicated that. Um, then if you are a lead or above, you may have seen the post that I put out yesterday. If you are a lead consultant or above in our downline only, in my downline only, right? So if your director is Emma, if your director is Lisa, if I am your upline star director, director, sponsor, right? Um, then only our people, so I don't include outsiders in the leadership lounge. So the leadership lounge, again, is for people who are a lead consultant or above. Um, there's not a whole lot of action in there. And I will tell you that there's, there is a method to that madness. Um, <laughs> the pure and simple reason is that, um, as you become a lead consultant, that means you're starting, you at least have one team member, right? And it is a little bit of a slippery slope trying to figure out your leadership style, where to begin, how to do things. And so um, the things that I share in there are usually about leadership. Um, there's not a whole lot of interaction, so you don't have to worry about turning notifications on or off for that. Um, but I will tell you that part of my uh, second quarter plan for this year is to do more in the leadership lounge. So if you never got your acceptance letter into that, I am going to be rolling a report today and I will be inviting everyone in our group. So everyone in my downline under Lisa, under Emma, who is a lead consultant and above to join the leadership lounge. Uh, like I said, starting in the second quarter, we're going to have a lot of things that are going to start happening in there. And I don't want you guys to miss out. Um, for those of you who may feel like you have FOMO, if you do not get the invite for that, well, don't worry. All you have to do is work hard and sponsor a team member and get to lead consultant. And then you will have access to that area. <laughs> Um, so we've got those resources, right? Those are the, the, the big like social resources, ways to connect. Um, I also have my app. If you guys, uh, are newer than you got the link to that. Um, it's basically to help newer consultants getting started, where to go, how to kind of get working in their business. Um, I am creating other apps to go along with that. So again, as with, uh, the second quarter for Leadership Lounge, I'm doing the same thing for Title Based. So we will be getting more in depth with that. I want you guys to know from me personally, from my lips to your ears, is that I am promoting to Superstar Director by the end of 2022. I've claimed it. So my focus has always been on building leaders, but I can tell you now I have officially shifted into fifth gear. Does anybody else remember driving a manual car? Okay. Sorry if you don't know how or what fifth gear means, but that's that's the, the top gear, okay? So we're, we're cruising and we're getting there. Um, now that's all for us as consultants, right? When we are building our businesses and looking to connect, I really want you guys to be thinking about how you can connect with your customers, okay? One of the ways is for one, having a Facebook business page and for two, having a VIP group on Facebook, okay? Um, let me keep that pulled up just in case I need it. Um, 
here's where I kind of stand. And you guys, if you know me at all, you know that Facebook is not my BFF. <sighs> we tolerate each other. We're like, you know, cousins that haven't seen each other in a really long time. I only utilize Facebook for y'all, okay? <laughs> Plain and simple. For my business, for you guys. That is why I'm on Facebook. If I was not a Sensi consultant, if I didn't do any of the things that I do, um, I probably would not have a Facebook, or if I did, it would be very sparse. I'm just not a fan. I don't know what it is. We fell out of love a long time ago, and... I have never rekindled that romance. My platform of choice is Instagram. Unfortunately, I don't have the way to create groups and things like that on Instagram yet. I, I am holding out hope that the meta universe will soon give us something along those lines, but it's a pipe, pipe dream. So, um, having a business page, uh, is, I don't want to say it's necessary because it's it's really not. It really depends on you and your business and how you're working it. If you are using any of the third-party apps like Visly, Sendshare, um, I think those might be may, maybe a Planoly. There's a couple handful of other groups and apps that you can use that are basically third-party applications that will post on your behalf, okay? Specifically on Facebook. Um, to be able to do that, you have to utilize a business page to run that stuff through because, and these are Facebook rules, not mine, not Sensi's, not anyone else's. Facebook really is there to make sure that people are not utilizing public profiles as business places. So they encourage you to post through a business page. That's why if you've ever gotten that little pop-up, maybe when you've put a post on your personal page about like our $25 join special this month, right? If you've put a post out there and then it will say, are you selling something? That's the cue that Facebook is picking up that there's, there's trying to be a sales involved or a sale involved in that post. They want that kind of stuff to happen on a business page. Those are their terms of service. So we gotta play the game, okay? Um, I do, however, share a lot on my personal Facebook. That is my personal preference. That is where the majority of the people who follow me live. I will tell you that my business page, um, I know I've got uh, quite a few who follow me on my business page, but honestly, when I look through that, the majority of what I see there is usually other consultants. Um, for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Lisa. I am not a huge fan of the business page. Again, I have one because I do utilize it with Sendshare. I, I don't do Visly. We just didn't get along. Uh, so we broke up. I am now with Sendshare, been with Sendshare for a while. And even now though, I am finding that to be more personal, I'm kind of getting away from even using Sendshare as much as I was, but I still do use it for some things. So you have your business page that you can post on. The big question that usually comes, maybe when I've had like a, a first or second uh, coaching call or a mentor call with someone is, should I have a VIP group? Or I started a VIP group, I don't know what to do. Here's the thing, it is a choice. It is completely a choice whether or not you have one or you don't, just like the business page, right? You don't have to have any of these things. You don't have to do any of these things. I will tell you though, a VIP group can be a really great way for you to connect and build relationships with your customers. Now, why is that important? Because let's break it all down. We are here building relationships. If you don't see yourself as a relationship builder in this business, I need you to change your mindset. Okay. I had said for years, for years, I am not a salesperson. I'm not. But what I had to change my mindset on of I am not a salesperson was more or less of I'm not here to be salesy spammy. I am here to share what I happen to love and the products that I enjoy and what I feel my customers would enjoy as well, right? So I'm a sharer, I'm not necessarily a seller, 
Okay, get it? Are you following along? Okay, so while I am not a salesperson, I still need to be able to connect and build relationships, right? Because you guys know it's the like, no, trust factor that people have with us, right? When they know you, when they like you, when they trust you, they are more apt to do business with you. So they are also more apt to respond or to connect with you, whether it's on post or on a PM, a private message or whatever, right? Having a VIP group can be something that you can utilize and really leverage to build those relationships. So here's the deal. And I see and hear people go back and forth. So I've heard both sides of the argument. This is where I stand on it. People, when it comes to a VIP page, get confused or question, should I invite other people, maybe my team members to my, my VIP page? Should I invite people that I connect with that are fellow consultants to my VIP page? Um, should I just do like a mass invite and just like invite everybody on my friends list to my VIP page, right? All of those things. Here's where I think that a lot of it gets lost because I have seen my personal VIP group go from being very active to being a desert with very little interaction to sparking interest here and there. So I've literally had the ups and the downs. I've had, had the dips, I've had the highs of my VIP group. And over the years, this has been my major takeaway. My major takeaway here is I have to remember, I am here to build connections and have relationships with my customers. So my VIP page is strictly for my customers. For my customers. I do not, not even have it in my membership questions when people request to join that group. Um, one of the things, I can't remember exactly how I word it, but I have it in there as one of the questions. If you are a current consultant, you will not be accepted. This is a page just for me and my customers, plain and simple. Not because I'm trying to hide anything, not because of any other reason of the fact of this is my way to connect with my customers and my VIP group. So I only will accept people who are non-consultants. Um, everything that I send out, uh, at least in one shape or form or another, has a link to my VIP group, okay? So any of the flyers that I print out and use, my postcards that I use, anything like that, right? When I am doing my follow-ups, one of the very first things is when I do my thank you follow-up, which is just simply a thank you, is nine times out of 10, it will be thank you so much for your purchase. I really appreciate it. Um, I am a mama run business. I've worked this for my, myself and my family. I want to invite you over to my VIP lounge, which is where I only share with my customers. I'd love for you to be a part of it. Boom, that was it, right? Not go here or not, you have to go here, anything like that. Um, another thing that I have started and so I am still in the trial phase, but I wanted to share it with you since we're talking about VIP page today. Um, well, I guess before I share that, let me let me talk a little bit more about this. So VIP page, um, on it, like I said, this is just my personal opinion. You do you, boo. If you want to invite consultants to your VIP page, go for it. If you want to invite everybody and their cousin to your VIP page, go for it and do it if that's what you want to do. But I will tell you, like I said, the majority of things I hear is nobody's, nobody's participating in my VIP page. Um, there was a time, uh, probably towards the end of last year where I actually thought about just shutting down my VIP page because I was experiencing yet another dip in the valley, right? It was just like crickets in there. And I was like, okay, I either have to get rid of this or I have to figure out a way to fix it. And that's kind of how I look at things with my business as a whole. I am constantly looking at the previous month or the previous quarter in my business to say, what has worked? What hasn't worked? What can I change? 
Those are the three main things that I do all the time because I am constantly trying to take inventory, take stock of my business. My business means a lot to me, right? My customers mean a lot to me. I can't run a business without my customers and I have to have relationships with them so they become more loyal customers, right? Having a sale here or there that maybe popped up on my PWS because I just happen to be local, I will tell you right here and now, when I have a brand new customer who has found me, whether it was through YouTube, on social media, or because they used the consultant locator and came across me and ordered through me, I treat those first time customers like gold, baby, gold, okay? That is where I set the tone for why they should be choosing me as their Sensi consultant from here on out, okay? So that doesn't mean that I'm, I'm selling the farm, right? And doing this huge, you know, thank you pack or something like that. This means I am making sure that I'm following up with that very first thank you so much, inviting them to my VIP lounge. I, I call it a lounge, but it's a group. It's just a group on Facebook. Um, call it whatever you want, right? Whatever you want. If it goes within your brand, do something funny like that. Do, do you. Um, but I'm getting them in there and I'm letting them know that this is where I connect. This is where I usually will share any sneak peeks. This is where I will ask questions and get their feedback. Um, and this is where I really spoil people, okay? So in my VIP page, what I really realized was, yes, I was posting things, but as I, remember, I, I asked myself these questions. What is working? What is not working? What can I change, right? So when I did that, when I did that checklist with my VIP page, I put my, I'm a brand new uh, person looking at this page. What do I see? So I just simply pulled up my VIP page and started scrolling through it. And I will tell you, because you guys know, I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I was seeing salesy posts. I was so mad at myself for allowing that to happen. I know better than that, right? I know better than to be salesy, spammy, and be like, guys, this is what's coming out. You're, you don't wanna miss this, right? I had lost or I wasn't utilizing in my VIP group the sharing part of it all, right? I wasn't sharing how excited I was for Dumbo because Dumbo was was one of the things that when I had my my very first child, I was I was I was a young girl when I had my first baby. Um I was 19 and had her and I just remember watching Dumbo after I had had her and it was just like one of those moments that just solidified as like one of my my core memories as to this is motherhood. This is what mom means to me, right? Being a mom means to me. And so Dumbo holds a very special place in my heart for that reason. And so why was I not sharing that with my customers, specifically the customers who have been buying from me, right? Because in order to get into my VIP page, you have to at least make one purchase. That's how you get in. So I don't just randomly allow people to come in, right? because I don't know if they're working with another consultant. They may have three other consultants that they work with too, right? Things like that. I am saving this space for my personal customers so I can build upon relationships. And so I went through my VIP page, went through it when I was having that, should I delete it, should I not? And I went through the members list and I was seeing, oh my gosh, I've got people in here who are consultants. First and foremost, why do they need to be in my VIP page? I'm not selling to them, right? Because whenever you're looking at your business, please keep in mind, ask yourself one question. What is, who is my target audience? So in my VIP page, is my target audience another consultant? Uh, no, ma'am. <laughs> First of all, I, I, I don't want to sell to another consultant. <laughs> Second of all, why are they there, right? Why? Because it's me and my customers in there. 
they want to follow me on my business page, they can do that there. They want to follow me on my personal page, they can do that there. They want to follow me on YouTube, they can follow me there. Instagram, right? I am all the places. It's not like this is the only place Jackie shows up. So why are they there? So I had to do a purging of people who were consultants, which shockingly enough, I had a, a good number of. So I got rid of them. And then I kind of went through and was like, okay, so now I've dwindled it down. I think I've got, I don't know, a little over 100 people in my VIP group. But let me tell you this right now. Whether you have 100 people, whether you have five people, it is not how many people you have in your group that counts. It is the quality of the people that you have in your groups, okay? So specifically in your VIP group, right? There we go. Lisa, that's a great way to do it too, right? So we need to be really looking at that VIP page. What can we do to leverage that VIP page? If yours is starting to sound like crickets in there, well then that's your clue. Hey, I got to spice things up. I got to mix things up. I got to pivot. I got to try something different here because my target audience is my customers and my main goal is to keep them excited about Scentsy and what's coming out or what I'm excited about or, oh my gosh, have you seen the Enliven the Senses specials that we have going on, right? Those are the things that I have the VIP group for. So that's really what I want to capitalize on. So what I really decided was that going into 2022 when I was starting the new year doing this whole revamp, it was all about what do my customers want to see? What do they want to know about? So I sat down and I made a theme for every day of the week. And so that way, when I was maybe having writer's block or not knowing what to post, or maybe I wanted to batch schedule, which is truly what I, I do. That's when I use SenseShare the most uh, because I utilize that to be able to make sure that I'm posting in there consistently, right? So being able to batch those posts out is a really great way. Now, of course, you can get in there and you can do it for free using the Facebook scheduler itself, right? And you can do things that way too. Um, but I still needed something more, right? I needed something more than just the, you know, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Throw those in there randomly. That's great. It'll help you get to know people better, questions like that that are engaging. But really at the end of the day, right, I want a little bit more engagement than that. I want a little bit more to the relationships in that, right? So that way when I am sharing, oh my gosh, guys, guess what's coming on Monday? I really want them to be excited and seeing what is happening in my VIP group. So what I decided to do is I decided, I, like I said, I had to make change, right? I had to get people excited about my VIP group again. And... I needed them to really be the people I was looking for. So I went through and I thought, okay, here's what I can do, right? When I send out thank you mail, um, it goes out a couple different ways. And if you have watched my batching video on samples and things like that, then you probably saw a lot of what I did. Um, for my Sensi Club subscribers, they get happy mail they get some happy mail. Um, I try and mix it up each, each month of what I'm sending out. So I'm not sending the same things. A lot of it is samples, but it just happens to be maybe bigger sizes of samples. Or, you know, if we've got a wax collection, like the rainbow wax collection, my, my Scentsy Clubbers are getting that early before everybody else, right? Because again, they're my clubbers are my real VIPs, right? Those are the those are the cream of the crop there, right? I love my clubbers. But all of my customers, I still want them to feel like a VIP. So if they are getting happy mail from me, I'm not trying to break the bank by sending out happy mail every month, right? One of my ways to do happy mail, oh, I think I've got one that's not packaged, I think. Maybe not, maybe, and survey, survey says, yes, I do. Haha, uh -huh. look at that. You know, I clean off my desk 
I still have random things. Okay. Nipples. I'm redoing my office next week. Getting a much bigger desk. So excited. Going to Ikea. Okay, anyway. So, um, for my mail-outs that I'm doing, I try and get them out with one stamp, right? So I just made up a little postcard here. It has a really cute quote about own your own sunshine. And then it says, hey, Tiger Lily, right? Because that's the scent of the month. And so then I went through and I made felt samples. I just get these uh, circle felt samples off of Amazon. They're on my Amazon list. Then I print off on address labels, two to an address label, and then I cut them in half. And that's how I put the, the name of the scent. And I use these one and a half by one and a half by two or something. I don't know. Uh, little baggies. Again, they're, they're on my Amazon list. I can show those. But so this and this, and then on the back, you know, Jackie, I'm always going to put my QR code, right? So it just says scan to shop. Um, so this is what's going out in my mail outs, right? And I can do those. Here's the ones that I have ready to go that haven't gotten sent yet. So I just use a clear uh, mailer. I got it in there. There's my sample, obviously some confetti. There's that. And then today, actually, I'm going to be running it through so I can print my um, address labels and get these out the door. One stamp is how these go out, okay? So that is how I'm doing my thank you mail. But when somebody makes a purchase from me, they're basically getting that. Uh, but I try and really not do too much, right? So most of my thank you mail after I've done the initial thank you for your order, please, you know, visit my VIP page. Then it will go into um, your order has shipped. That's when I go in and I make these. And I will tell you at the same time, I had these made by, um, uh, well, she runs an Etsy shop. So I just had these made because I didn't have all the, the color and the paper to print them out. Um, so what I did is I had these made, they're just a business card size and it says admit one Jackie's VIP scent lounge. All right. And there's the QR code to scan. Okay. That's it. I throw this and I will throw this. I went through and made a postcard and it says, keep your tickets. You can win a free goodie bag with at least one full size product. If I draw your number in my VIP lounge on Facebook any and all orders placed each month are entered to win. So again, this QR code takes them directly to my VIP lounge. And what I do is I literally attach a ticket, okay? I attach a ticket. I get the, um, you guys have seen these, right? You've all been to the carnival. You've been somewhere, right? I get a roll of tickets. You can grab them on Amazon. Fairly inexpensive, right? What this is doing, though, is this is keeping my customers engaged on my VIP page because they're like, oh, my gosh, I could win. Who doesn't get excited when they have the opportunity to win something? OK, now, what are they going to win? Well, here's the deal. I don't want to spoil it for for any of my VIPs who might watch this later, but it is simply a small goodie bag. Right. And so for me, every single month to do that, that is worth it. And that is working in my business budget. OK. Again, I am not selling the farm to do this. The whole point is to bring the fun back into my VIP page. So when I am posting in there, when I am sharing in there, right, they're hopefully already engaged because when they start engaging in that Facebook page and they're waiting for their ticket numbers to be called or the one to be called for that month, well, they're excited. So either they have the notifications on for my VIP group or maybe because they've been interacting with me, it will pop up in their feed more. You know, the whole algorithm fun of, of trying to figure that all out, right? But I will tell you right now, I have seen an increase in my VIP group just by starting it. I started this in January. I think mid-January is when I started it. Um, so I'm technically not... I always try and do things for at least 90 days. At least 90 days. I keep something going. And so I haven't quite reached that point to where I've made a determination. But so far, from what I can see, are people are being more active in my VIP group. That's what I wanted, right? I wanted to connect more with 
my customers. I wanted to build those relationships. And so I've started sharing more in there. They're now getting excited about the ticket system, right? So these are ways that you could utilize your VIP group by remembering who your audience is. And it doesn't matter, like I said, how many people are in there. Quantity does not matter. You want the quality. So if you've got 2,000 people in your VIP group, are 2,000 people buying from you every single month? If they are, you have cracked the code, my love. I am so excited. Please show us how you have done this because I want that, right? So look at your VIP group. If you're not doing a VIP page and you use a business page for that, then look at it in that light, okay? Try and keep things focused on the outcomes of what you want. So you first of all, let's go through our rules of social media, right? As a business owner, we don't want to be posting a whole lot of negative stuff. Yes, negative things happen. Negative things happen in life. There's days where we don't feel so chippy, right? Then here's my suggestion to you. Put the phone away. Just put it down, right? We don't need to be airing out all of our things on, on social media. And we want our customers to be able to see us as that person they know, like, and trust. And we don't want to be always complaining or doing all of that, right? Because what is going to happen? Those customers are going to be like, well, oh, I'm so tired of this, right? And they're either going to not follow you anymore or they're certainly not going to be showing up in your VIP group. So we want to make sure that we are really giving them value. And in the VIP group, I also like to do some fun things here and there, right? I might do a quick unboxing or I might be, um, if I get a new warmer in or a new scent, I might pop in for like a five second or not five second, maybe like a five minute live and just be like, oh my gosh, you guys, I got this uh, order in today. And I have to tell you that the Big Hero 6 bar is amazing, right? And I went in and I talked about that. So just finding ways to share with them a little bit differently than you would on your personal page or your business page or how you do on Instagram or how you do wherever it is that you're posting. Give them a personalized experience. I'm learning this at the Disney Institute because um, obviously with our partnership with Disney, I really am focusing now on the experience that my customers have. So is it a fun experience to get a postcard with a ticket of a chance to win? It is a little fun, right? Like, honestly, it is a little bit fun. You don't have to do this exactly, okay? You could do a spin of this. You could do it a little bit differently. Um, whatever you need to do, right? And find something that is uniquely you. What does your brand look like? What do people think of when they think of you, right? Start incorporating your brand into everything you're doing and pretty soon you and your brand and Sensi all become this one big ball of motion that people get excited about. So find ways that you can theme your content if you're looking for ways to start that engagement. So write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Pick a theme. There is no right or wrong answer. Maybe Mondays are all about family. Maybe Tuesdays are all about dinner ideas. It doesn't even have to incorporate Sensi, right? These are simply ways for you to connect, okay? For you to connect. And let me tell you, I love seeing the engagement posts, right? Which would you pick or which warmer looks best, right? We've all seen those posts. And yes, they have a good, there is a good time and place to use those. But let me tell you right now, if that is all you're posting in your VIP page, people are going to get bored really, really fast. Use your VIP page to connect. What do you like to make for dinner? What is your go-to weekly dinner recipe? What is it, right? Those are things that people can relate to. So look for ways to engage in those types of ways. 
Remember, we're building relationships. So always keep that focus going. I am focused on my target audience, which is my customers. I am focused on building connections and relationships in here. So those are the things I wanna be posting. And it won't hurt either to do a poll here or there. Put up a poll in your group. What would you like to see more of? Or what are things about me that you'd like to know? Right? Now, I'm not telling you tell all the deep, dark secrets, okay? No, we ain't going that far, right? But have fun with it. Have fun with it. Do you want to do a joke a day? Find it. You can go on, on Google, Pinterest, wherever. You can find funny memes and things like that that you can post, right? People love those things. They love to be able to share them with their friends. Um, those are the ways that you're going to get a more positive reaction. Those are the ways that you're going to see that the engagement in your group is going up, not down. Okay. So don't be afraid to hit that reset button and start over. Don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be afraid to share more of yourself. Don't be afraid to get rid of people in that VIP group who either are not buying from you or have never bought from you or our fellow consultants. Because again, do they fit into that category of people that are your target audience? No. <laughs> so let them follow you on other channels, right? You don't have to feel bad about that. This is your business. This is your social media. So take ownership. Have fun in your VIP groups. And if you want to share with us what you're doing, what you're trying, please do so in the group. I know everybody is always looking for new ideas of what to share, how to do it. I want to do something else fun. They're looking for things to do. So hopefully this has sparked some inspiration for you. Have some fun with it. Maybe get together with a couple other consultants or friends that you network with and ask them, hey, how are you doing your VIP page? What do you do? I'm thinking about doing this, right? And share and start working with your accountability group with that because that's really gonna help you guys brainstorm together. I will tell you, working together and brainstorming with fellow consultants is one of the best ways that I have found to be my most creative self my most creative. And sometimes I walk away with some of the best ideas. Like seriously, I'm walking out of there like, Jackie, oh my gosh, why did you not think of this sooner? Ugh. Okay, so that's VIP pages. So take a look at yours. What's it looking like? Take inventory, take sock. What do you need to do? Let me know if you need help. We will talk about it more in the group. You can you can message me, you can tag me, you can do whatever, you know how to get a hold of me. And Happy rest of Enliven the Senses Week. Have some fun this week with the fun deals that they've given us. And remember to share your memories of scent. Share your favorite scents. Remember, you want to make connections. So focus on that when you're looking for social media post content. I love you all. Talk to you soon.